friends welcome to global online university friends in this video we are going to discuss some important mcqs on people and development and environment for your upcoming northeast set examination friends for your upcoming northeast set examination we are providing you test series where we are providing you 40 tests for paper one preparation and here you will be prepared for 2000 mcqs here this test includes all the units for paper one and each test is having 50 questions here and we are giving explanation solution and also you can download pdf of the 40 tests and uh, and with this we are providing you 1000 mcqs for paper one e from each unit you are providing you 100 mcqs totally you are prepared for 3000 mcqs here I think this is enough preparation for your paper 1 you can focus more on paper 2 and friends here we are providing you video lectures on paper 1 and also you are providing you notes on each unit these, these 40 tests plus these 1000 MCQs video, video, videos and all no, notes are available only at rupees 599 to join these tests you can contact to this given number the number is displayed on your screen and friends once if you subscribe for these 40 tests plus 1000 mcqs then you will be added to our paid whatsapp group which is especially made for the northeast set examination then he, he, from here you can download the pdfs and he, from here you can access the tests and all so let us move to the questions here the question is what best describes an earthquake option a sudden movement along the surface of earth option b collision of tec uh, tectonic plates option c any natural phenomenon causing destruction option d none of the above here the right answer is option b collision of tectonic plates is the correct answer this describes an earthquake here you can see earthquake is the is the result of sudden release of the stored energy in the earth's crust and it creates seismic waves please remember this it it will create the seismic waves and earthquake are accordingly measured with a seismometer please remember this a seismometer is used to measure the earthquake it is also known as the seismograph and the magnitude of an earthquake is conveniently reported using rich uh, writer scale r i c h t e r writer scale and an earthquake is caused by tectonic plates getting stuck and putting a strain on the ground okay then earthquake may occur naturally or by the human activities i hope you got it let us move to the next question tsunami occurs due to option a mild earthquakes and landslides in the oceans Option B, strong earthquakes and landslides in the oceans. Option C, strong earthquakes and landslides in the mountains. Option D, strong earthquakes and landslides in the desert. Here the right answer is option B, strong earthquakes and landslides in the ocean. Option B is the correct answer. Tsunami, it is a series of extremely long waves caused by a large and sudden displacement of the ocean usually the result of an earthquake below or near the ocean floor let us move to the next question comparative environment impact assessment studies to be conducted for option a the whole year option b three seasons excluding monsoons option c any three seasons option d the worst season here the right answer is option a the whole year is the current correct answer comparative environment impact assessment study it is to be conducted for the whole year let us move to the next question which place on earth is known as the ring of fire as it has the earth's most active volcanoes option a europe option b pacific ocean option c south america option d none of the above here the right answer is option b pacific ocean is known as the uh, ring of fire Okay, the ring of fire also referred to as the circum pacific belt it is a path along the pacific ocean characterized by the active volcanoes and the length is approximately 40,000 kilometers so let us move to the next question body waves consist of option a p waves only option b s waves only option c P and S waves, option D, surface waves. Here the right answer is option C. Body waves consist of P and S waves. 
the next question is the term used in the context of landslides and basically the down slope movement of materials under the influence of gravity is option a mass wasting option b mass tracking option c mass transfer option d none of the above here the right answer is option a mass wasting mass wasting it is also known as the slope moment please remember it it is also known as the slope moment or also mass moment it is the geomorphic process mass wasting is the geomorphic process by which soil sand rock move down slope typically has a solid or discontinuous or continuous mass largely under the force of gravity please remember this mass wasting it is under the force of gravity so let us move to the next question what should you do to prepare for a hurricane option a prepare for a safety route option b arrange for emergency food and water option c both a and b option d none of the above here the right answer is both a and b are the correct answer so the next question is what are the three main components of the water cycle evaporation sublimation solidification option b evaporation condensation precipitation option c rain snow sleet option d liquid solid and gas here the correct answer is option b evaporation condensation and precipitation okay the water cycle is the process of how water circulates around the earth and there are three main parts are there one is precipitation evaporation and condensation okay the next question is which of the following is true about ozone layer option a it absorbs most of the uv b radiation option b it screens out the uv c radiation option c its depletion leads to cancer option d all of the above here the right answer is option d all of the above sentences are correct about the ozone layer the next question is which one of the following gases is not a greenhouse gas option a methane option b hydrogen option c carbon dioxide option d sulfur hexafluoride here the right answer is option b hydrogen is not a gas of the uh, greenhouse gas okay greenhouse gas is a gas that absorbs and emits radiant energy within the thermal infrared range and the greenhouse gases are uh, water vapor carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide and ozone are the greenhouse gases hydrogen is not the greenhouse gas so let us move to the next question the greenhouse effect involves warming of the earth surface and the option a troposphere option b mesosphere option c stratosphere option d thermosphere greenhouse gases effect involves warming of the earth surface and troposphere so option a troposphere is the right answer the next question is tidal energy is also a potential renewable energy resource which of the following is the main cause for the formation of tidal waves option a gravitational pull of moon option b gravitational pull of sun option c gravitational pull of sun and moon option d none of the above here the right answer is option c gravitational pull of sun and moon is the correct answer tidal energy it is a renewable energy please remember it tidal energy it is known as a renewable source of energy and some of these technologies include turbines and paddles okay tidal and tidal energy is produced by the surge of ocean waters during the rise and fall of tides and a tidal wave is a shallow water wave caused by the gravitational interactions between the sun moon and also earth so let us move to the next question which of the following gas is released when rice is grown in the wet fields option a methane option b nitrous oxides option c ozone option d carbon dioxide here the right answer is option a methane is released when rice is grown in the wet fields okay rice is the nutritious staple crop for more than half of the world's people we all know it but when we grow rice methane of a greenhouse gas will release so let us move to the next question which of the following is an effective protection against cyclones and tsunamis option a shrimp farms option b building walls option c mangrove forests 
ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द अबो फ्रेंड्स दिस क्वेश्चन आई हैव केप्ट फॉर यू यू हैव टू कमेंट द आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो दिस विल हेल्प मी टू असेस योर प्रिपरेशन एंड आल्सो दिस विल हेल्प मी टू ब्रिंग मोर एंड मोर क्वेश्चंस सो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू अबाउट आवर टेस्ट सीरीज वेयर वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू 40 टेस्ट प्लस 1000 एमसीक्यूज वी कैन आल्सो डाउनलोड द पीडीएफ एंड आल्सो यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग द वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑन पेपर 1 where we are covering all the mcqs from all the units from all the sections and also you are providing you full notes on each unit all these are available only at rupees 599 to join this you can you can send a message whatsapp message to the given number the number is displayed on your screen okay friend thank you and once if you subscribe to this test you will be added to our paid whatsapp group here you will get the link we will get the syllabus you can uh, download the solution pdf and all okay friends thank you very much thank you for watching this video and for more videos on ugc net various other set examination you can subscribe to our global online university youtube channel thank you